doing the front yard. I'm looking like a straight up bone, baby. I didn't do any vlogging. <clears throat> Last week was an extremely busy week for me. Um, the noise behind me is my kettle boiling me some water so I can make me some tea. So that's what you guys hear. Hopefully you can hear me over it a little bit. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, last week I didn't do any vlogging. I didn't. Last week was a busy week. I had my grandson with me. <laughs> Because my daughter, my oldest daughter, was at a conference. And um, I had to take him back and forth to school. And then, I want to say Wednesday, we were driving home. And um, I heard a weird noise with my, my brakes. And my brake light and my ABS light came on. So I had to go ahead and bring my BMW home. And hopefully I can get it into the shop tomorrow. I called to make an appointment, but they told me that I could just bring it up there and, you know, drop it off. So, I'm going to drop it off tomorrow so they can get a good look at it. Um, my youngest daughter told me, they was like, well, Mama, maybe it's just time to let it go. So, I'm going to keep it real. I will hold on to a car until I can't drive the car anymore. I mean, until I just, the car is just costing me too much money. I'm investing too much to keep it going. And my BMW may be a, yeah, my BMW is a 2010. And um, it hasn't really caused me a lot of problems. It's the, it's the, it's a, I, I love it. It's a white convertible, hardtop convertible, 2010 328i. I absolutely love my car. <laughs> and I would rather keep it they're getting another one so that's why i'm taking it to the shop um see what they can do with it um if it's more than just the brakes uh, i'll decide on what i'm gonna do later you know because i still got my my little um still got my motorcycle and i still have my uh nissan so we'll just deal with it that way but um and then, so, Friday came, I worked a little bit from home, just kind of relaxed, cleaned up my guest quarters, that's where my grandson was staying, and Saturday, <clears throat> I took my bike out, my Harley out. First ride of the year for me, it was a great ride, I met up with family to eat and stuff, and then I just brought it back home before it got too dark. Um, I actually got footage on my GoPro of the ride so I may I may post it post a little bit of it as a short um, probably on a different video as a short but yeah I got some footage on my GoPro I just have to edit it from my computer my laptop in order to get it out to you guys so today being Sunday February 25th I think my plans today are to work in my yard, front and back. Um, it's been spring in the ATX for maybe three weeks now, like literally. Like today is going to get up to 80 degrees. So I don't know if you guys remember the little pillows and rug that I bought for my backyard. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on my porch today. Um, and clean up my back porch a little bit. I cut my backyard Friday. I'm going to cut my front yard um, today. So that's what I plan to do. That's what I plan to get off into. Nothing real major. Um, nothing that's going to be too exciting. But I'm going to bring you guys along so you can see it. And then... Um, 
I think my back cordia, patio is going to turn out really cute. I do with the extra, just the extra stuff on it. But you know, you don't want to put so much stuff in a place where it just look crowded. So I just want to put a little bit. And then the last thing I'll probably put on my back porch is a um, fire pit, like one of those miniature table fire pits. I'll probably give me one of those and put it out there. <clears throat> so let's get to it. So as you guys can see, those captain chairs are extremely heavy. Like, they are heavy. So I'm gonna have to try to put the rug down. If it extends up under it by lifting each chair and then dropping the rug. Um, Cause I'm not gonna be able to move them by myself. It's just, it's not gonna happen. But as a quick view, porch is not extremely horrible it just needs some decoration it just looks so bland to me so I feel like it needs to be some decoration out here some of this crap I'm gonna take away some of it I'm not so um, all my chairs are staying I think I need to clean my windows and stuff so we're going to do that too and dust off the chairs. We're going to get a towel. <laughs>
That's the print. It's gonna be cute. We're gonna cut the tag out. We'll look at that. Cases come out so you can wash them. They got a zipper in back.
So like I said, I like my patio furniture. The captain chairs are just extremely heavy. So I just put down an aerial rug. Got some of the junk off my porch. Put some pillows in the chairs. My chairs are antiquish. I could um, stain them again, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it brings character to my porch. I still have my hammock. I like to sit out here and read. Uh, lay in my hammock and read. Look at the sunset and all that good stuff. So that's it. I'm gonna plant something there, and as you can see, that pot matches the decor. So I'm gonna get it a stand to make it stand up a little higher, or I'm gonna get a tall plant to put in it, and that pot will stay out here. This is where I'm gonna put the miniature um, what fire pit on this table right here. But for now, you know, if people comes over that smokes, this is this is typically where I do my hookah at. They can smoke. I have a little cute ashtray. This comes up. I always have lighters available for people. This is my outdoor lamp for now. Then I have my little puppy dog. And my fly swatter. So That's it for the porch. That's my little gnome. Uh, that's about it. Nothing major. No, no mastered some significant changes i have another sitting area down here in the rocks with my little pit just in case i cue and i can manage it from there that's what that is for the barbecues of the world anyway that's it so on my patio i have this fan it's turned the wind is so hot today but um it gives you guys an idea I'm trying to get out here i think it makes it a little bit more cozy y'all let me know what y'all think okay so now i'm gonna mess around in my front yard see if i can get it it's still dormant a little bit but um you know just clean it up a bit get some of the if there's any weeds in my grass out or edge it up the debris out of the edge the area and I'm just gonna run it over to pick up like the leaves and stuff that has fallen and get that done and then blow out my garage my garage looks a mess y'all I actually look like I be doing stuff in my garage it looks a hot mess so I'm gonna blow out my garage and then I'm gonna um, call it a day, but let's see. So I did one lap of edging first. You can see the debris on the ground. See how it is. See how the grass is still dormant, right? But if you get close, you'll see the greenery trying to peek its way through you get close enough so once we run over it with a back uh not a vacuum with the lawnmower and bag it run over it with a lawnmower i don't have to trim my trees nor bushes and then we'll see what what i feel like i need to do next right okay So I have one of these personal pace auto drive smart lawn smart lawn mowers. I didn't clean it after I cut my backyard on Friday, so that's why it has all the grass on it. But I'm gonna blow it real quick. See if I can get the grass off.
then I'm gonna add my milk bag. I had mentioned on a previous vlog how I hate when my neighbors hire people, they don't put their bag on because all their three just clothes everywhere. It's important to do. That's the mo. <laughs> so I showed y'all me running over my front. Um, how I do it in a square? Because the yard is so small. My big, my backyard is the huge part. My front yard is pretty small, so it don't take me long. And then um, I've already edged. So when I edged first, as I, cause I had my um, bag on. It kind of picks up the debris, debris for me now. I just have to blow the rest and sweep it. So let me show you. And for me, my opinion, this is the absolute best mower for women. Just pulled all the yuck off the top of the mower. You know what I mean? It's not a lot or off the grass. It's not a lot, but it's not as fluffy either. So, um, my county has a, a, a outside watering restriction right now. So, um, we got to allow the grass to grow green as it can. But once the watering restriction is done, I'll show you guys what I put down for my first fertilization. And it's actually through wet fertilization and then I use the granules. So I'll show you guys that. And I'll show you how I make my front yard come back to life as well as my back. So I store, whew, I store all my, my, uh, you know, important stuff in my garage. So, um, on one side of the garage, I keep all my stuff for my car and my motorcycle. And on the other side, I keep all my stuff for my um, gardening and stuff. So you'll see that I have I have my regular trash bin in my um, because it's just easier for me. I don't typically have a lot of trash weekly anyway so i have that and then i have my my little bike that i like to ride and my vacuum and stuff for my car ice chest water filter stuff for my water then i have my cabinet for my my uh i'm a car stuff broom um carpet cleaner and then on the opposite maintenance and yard stuff 
So up here is some of the stuff I brought out of my, off my porch. And all this is just like home defense. Sorry, home defense stuff. So, you know, um, I tend to exterminate my own house. So that's what these are for. To make sure I can exterminate that as well. This is to clean my floor. But all that is kind of just like home defense. It's important to me that a woman has their own air um, pressure thing, you know, because when the tires get low on your on your bar, you can you can do that yourself instead of having to go up to some tire shop to get it done. Put your own air off in your tire and stuff like that. You also see some of my little tools, me working on my bike uh, and stuff. So this is why I say, see. Because I need to put it in order. But to be honest with you, after after um doing the front yard, I'm looking like a straight up bone, baby. <laughs> after doing the front yard and uh putting that stuff down from the backyard, I actually feel like I'm about to call it a day when it comes to doing anything else because I think I've done enough for this morning. You know, y'all, I'm always getting myself into stuff and doing stuff, so I think I'm tired. Y'all, this is my little yard cap, baby. You can't tell me nothing when I'm out in my yard doing my thing. <laughs> so, anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. Maybe not. I may chat with y'all a little while longer, but I got to see how much editing and stuff I need to do um, so the vlog won't go too far over. But um, I'm going to try to get this uploaded, uploaded today. Things may be in reverse a little bit. Typically, I try to do my um, girl talk on Sundays and my 50 and over on um, Wednesday. Uh, I think it may be in reverse this this week and and I can do that. <laughs> Telling y'all y'all once I once my natural state of living is disrupted it's it's really hard for me to Oh, it's just because I'm I'm so used to a routine. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm used to a routine and then when my routine has changed, it's like I have to shift everything. And um I do my best to get back on track, but um Managing your own home is not managing, not managing, uh, it's not, it's nothing like managing a, a, an apartment or a place that you're written because typically you'll probably have someone taking care of everything for you. Not in this case. Only time I get someone to come do anything for me at my home is when it's something mechanical that I know I just can't do myself. And then I'll, I'll, I'll call on someone like if something just, just breaks down hot water heater uh appliances i just can't figure the shit out and stuff like that but other than that i will definitely try to diy it um i'm an outdoorsy person so i don't mind working in my yard i love um being able to see things grow and nourish and stuff so i feel like i've achieved something when i'm able to make my grass and my yard come back to life after um it get cold and stuff. And I kind of feel like, even though it feels like spring right now, it's just February. It's just the end of February. Um, me knowing Texas, something is going to hit in between March and April. If it doesn't, it's going to shock the shit out of me. So I probably won't do any planting just yet. I'll probably wait until... sometime in April to, to even start planting anything, maybe late April. Um, we'll see. I'm going to hold off on doing that. But for now, this is it, honey.